Hi, I'm William Spaniel. Let's learn some game theory. Today we're going to go over an odd rule of thumb, and by odd here I mean numerically odd, not odd as in strange, although it is a little bit weird, this rule that I'm about to teach you. So looking back at some of the games that we solved in the past, this is a list of those named games that we've solved, The Prisoner's Dilemma, Stag Hunt, Matching Pennies, Chicken, and Battle of the Sexes. I've listed how many equilibria are in each of those games, and we see that they all have an odd number of equilibria. Uh, the Prisoner's Dilemma had one equilibrium, it was an impure strategies, the defect-defect uh, strategy set that was the only two strategies that survived strict dominance. In the Stag Hunt we had three equilibria, two were impure strategies, those I covered in the video. The third one is actually there in mixed strategies, which I didn't go over because we hadn't learned mixed strategies at that point yet. But if you go back to that video and look at the game, this might be a good exercise for yourself, you can look at the payoffs and you can actually find a mixed strategy Nash equilibrium there. Uh, Matching Pennies, of course, had one mixed strategy Nash equilibrium, that was it. And both Chicken and Battle of the Sexes had two pure strategy Nash equilibria and one in mixed strategies. So all of these things are odd. And is that a coincidence? Well, what's going on here? And it's actually not that much of a coincidence. There's this rule of thumb that most strategic form games have an odd number of equilibria. This isn't a hard and fast theory. There is no proof for it. It's just that it sort of just is the case that most of these things are odd. And so the implication here really is that when you're doing homework and you can only find an even number of equilibria, you should probably double check your answers. It might be the case that you're right and there are just an even number of equilibria in your game, but that's also probably not the case. You really ought to look back and, and make sure that you've checked all possible solutions and you are in fact positive that there are an even number of equilibria. Because like I said, there are games with an even number and here's one for example. Uh, this is an e even equilibrium game there are two equilibria here, both are impure strategies. One is up and left, and the other one is down and right. And there isn't anything in mixed strategies here. For the, uh, to, to see that, let's just suppose that player two was mixing between left and right. Well, if player one were to play down as a pure strategy, then he's always going to get zero, because regardless of what player two does, he gets zero for that. But if he plays up and player two is mixing between left and right, then with some probability he'll get one, and then the rest of the time he'll get zero. But some positive amount is always going to be better than zero, so player one will always play up. And then the same thing's going to be true for player two. If player one is mixing between up and down, then she'll always want to play left. Uh, this is a little bit of a strange equilibrium here because, well, this one's always better for them, but nevertheless, it is the case that if both of them are here, neither one can profitably deviate. Player one can't switch to up because he'll still get zero, and player two can't switch from right to left because, well, again, she'll still get zero. So this has an even number of equilibria, but like I said, this game is really the weird type of game. It's the exception to this rule of thumb, and for even, equal, even equilibria to exist, usually what's going on here is a bunch of weak dominance, and that is the case here with this game because up weakly dominates down for player one and left weakly dominates right for player two. And if you pause and you look at it, you'll see that that is true because, uh, well, down gets zero and zero, up gets one and zero, so down is always going to be not as good or equally as good as up. A better way of saying that is up is always at least as good as down, and the same thing is going to be true for player two, where left is at least as good as right, regardless of what player one does. Um, we also know from past videos that there can be infinitely many equilibria as well, and just to refresh your memory, that was this game right here, where uh, player two has left strictly dominate right, so she's always going to play left, and then given that player one is indifferent between playing up and down because he has two here and two here, so there's two pure strategy Nash equilibria, one here and one here, and then there's also infinitely many in mixed strategies where player two plays left as a pure strategy and player one mixes with any probability between up and down. So that is that rule of thumb. Use it carefully and I hope that helps with some of your homework problems.